Okay, I'm at the lake looking for an MLA. I found somebody. What do you mean somebody? I have a goddamn offer to you. So I was looking for a minister, but you'll have to do. <laughs> now, I the, the most popular MLA in the province of New Brunswick, and your class class thinking ministers are much better than me. No, I, I, it's always a pleasure to to interview you, uh, Abel Lavlar. Just for the record, okay, <clears throat> the conservative let a press release out this morning. On what? And they said that uh, if they're, the Liberals are re-elected, the churches and the fundraisers to serve hot meals, that the Liberals will cancel that because it's a health issue. Can I laugh at that one? That is the most ridiculous statement I ever heard in my life. When the politics or any government starts getting involved to dictate to the churches of what they can do and what they can't do, I think that's going to be when there's two moons in the sky. Are you trying to tell me that it's not true? I'm not saying it's not true, but you look at the retardation of the people that said that what the Liberals would do to that, and that's the mentality of David Albert. No, but are you trying to tell me that the PC party are like bloggers? They just make up these stories? Well, I don't even think that they are capable to do any good blogging, Charlie. So is it true or is it not true? Why would the PC party come out with this? That liberals will cancel all meals. Well, you heard of that old story of a, I had a dream. Well, that's for David Allward. He's still in that dream world having a dream. So it's not true? It's not true as far as I'm concerned. If it's true, you will fight this to the Well, end. you know me, I hmm. don't speak my mind too often, but then when we start interfering with the churches, no matter what religion it is, we're in trouble. It would be political suicide. Oh! No question. A good Catholic like you. you well, know. Charlie, I profess to be a good Catholic. Not yeah. only that, a good Christian boy. The only good Catholic that swears a lot. Well, if there's nothing in the rules that says in the Catholic Church that you're not allowed to swear. Listen, you don't believe in these uh, fixed date, fixed date elections? No, th I think uh, the fixed date was uh, something that was brought on, like looking at the Americans and what have you. I think the fixed fixed dates for any MLA or any candidate is suicide. It just puts a lot of stress in their life. Uh, there's no end of it. You know what I mean? A campaign, 35 days is good. You're out, you're mm. beating on doors, you're trying to impress people the fact of what you did and what you didn't do. But when you have to do it over a period of a five month period, but I'm a little different. I live in my riding and I work with my constituents. So if you want to talk about the fixed date, the fixed date was when I got elected in 2006. Bernard Lord, when he announced the election in 2006, there was all kinds of media at the government house. This time, I don't think there'll be hardly anybody there. There's no excitement. Well, there's lots of excitement if you want to follow it. Where you just live in the capital city of Ferdington, just the surrounding here, such a serene place to live, and the weather that we're having, I can see you with a little darker tan for being a fair headed Frenchman. So uh, what do you plan to do when you're the only Liberal MLA to be re-elected? Re well, I'm going to predict this today, that I will not be the only Liberal candidate elected. I think St. John will be a sweep, Trevor Holder will be bye-bye this time. It'll be a sweep in St. John, and I'm predicting the rest of the province that we win by 34 seats. You all right there? You don't, uh, you My, don't have a high fever? I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sane today. You're going to win with a majority? We're going to win with a clear majority of 34 seats. But you piss off so many people. I never pissed off anybody in my life, Charlie. I'm Abel LeBlanc. They know who Abel yeah, LeBlanc you, you, is. Yeah, you, but the Liberal Party pissed off. The Liberal Party hasn't pissed off anything. All I look at all the great things that Sean Graham and our government has did for the province of New Brunswick. Like what? Like what? Well, let me take you just to my area in St. John. There's over 10 to 12 cranes working right in the middle of the city of St. John. We're now building a justice building in St. John. We're now building a new building out in Rolly McIntyre's line for MBTC. We're also looking at the aspect of what we're doing. We just put our share of the cost into an Olympic field at the UNB. Also, the buildings that are going up around there, it's just like a skyscraper in New York. That's what John Graham has did. Who's running against you? I have a young lady running against me by the name of Dorothy Shepard. Who is she? she you know, she's a lady that uh, has a paint shop in my riding. 
nice girl. Was, yeah, must be if she got nominated. Yeah, well, she won a nomination, so she has the right to run. Just for the record, I hope you win. You're I the best. I, I hope you win. I hope you, Abel LeBlanc, win the election. Your election. I didn't get in this election to lose. Well, it's going to be. It's not you. It's your leader that I'm worried about there. Well, I wouldn't worry about Sean Graham. Sean Graham can look after himself. Oh yes. Really good. Yeah, he don't smoke. And he's <laughs> came from here up to here again on the pole. And I'll tell you, when it's all over, Sean Graham will be at the helm and the next premier of the province in a run. You sure you're not in the verge of a nervous breakdown? Or? I've been on that verge for a long while, Charlie. Since the day my brother, my mother brought me to this earth, that's the day that I started having nervous breakdowns. Good luck, Abel. I hope you win. Thank Talk you to you later. Bye.